better. If they just lined up and and taken their fair shares, we've had plenty for everyone. If <laughs> if you're here to fill an empty stomach, look elsewhere. Folks swarmed what little was had, stuff in their pockets. Bloody animals. Look at that. We got here first, friend. You're welcome to whatever scraps we leave behind. Back off! I found these apples first. Take the wood from the cart too. That'll be good for a fire, if nothing else. Finders bloody keepers, I say. Bloody savages, a lot of them. We're as desperate as the rest of these savages. They just had the sense to move quicker than us. Welcome, friend. You've joined us as we honor our fallen dead. A somber time, and you have brought a somber guest. I did not think you would willingly return, Spawn. Well, indeed. I was rather hoping I'd never see you people again. Honestly. Frey, thou disc Durovna. Frey, thou disc blast. I feel we're intruding. We should leave quickly. Calm yourself. You will not be harmed. Our leader has called off the hunt. She wishes to speak to you. Im orak nete. Krasinetra. So, the impossible spawn walks among us in the blazing sun. We have been looking for you. The last time your friend came to our camp, he stole our children, our future. When I was hunting you, I was to bring you back here, interrogate you, discover how to save our children, and then destroy you. But things have changed. You have changed. Is it true you left your master? That you broke the spell that binds you to him? Uh, well, I, I mean, uh, kind of. It's a long story, honestly. Free. Not while his master still lives. But he has, perhaps, earned a second chance. We have tried to save our children once already, attacking Kazadorzar's palace at first light. Even then, it was too well defended. But if his own spawn approached, someone he thought he could control, he would throw his doors open and welcome you in. And once inside, you could do what we could not. You could save the children you damned. You don't know Cazador like I do. He's merciless. You want me to march into the lion's den and save your children? But I promise you, they're already dead. Excuse me, did you not hear anything I just said? They're gone. 
I know our plight is grim, but if there is even a chance to save them, we must take it. If our children are truly gone, then we ask for blood. I know you can understand that, Spawn. If nothing else, at least killing Casador will feel good. Thank you. From me and all my people. If you can do this, we will be in your debt. You have lived a life of violence and sin. You have stolen lives, broken families, and caused immeasurable grief. Doing this will not right those wrongs. <laughs> if you're trying to encourage me, you're failing abysmally. But it will be a start. You may still be redeemed. Please go. Time is short, but we will see you again when it is done. This vessel is at thy disposal. Do what thou wilt. This soul awaits thy command. dead fought well. They died well. I hope I can live up to their example. No screaming children. No laughter. No scolding words. There is only silence and pain. I pray you will succeed where we failed. Exterminate every last vampire parasite. To lose our children is a tragedy. To fail so utterly in saving them is something else entirely. Ulmer insists the tribe is not cursed, but I have my doubts. We are begging help from you, an outsider. I would follow Ulmer to the hells and back, but this does not feel right. Time to rest. No time to rest.
travels without his friends. Let's go. Soon the bastards will outnumber us. They'll come for our homes. Any of the refugees give you hassle, come to us. We know how to handle them. Welcome, adventurer. I take it you're new to Rivington. No doubt you came here to choose from my fine selection of weapons. Yes, I seem to have it all. Clubs, swords, maces, bows, cutting and gutting galore. Why don't we see if we can find the perfect weapon for you? I provide a personalized service for my customers to make sure the weapon I choose is the perfect fit. Tell me, how do you like to kill? I see, playing to your strengths, keeping things simple. And when you kill someone, what do you feel? You deny yourself the sweetest pleasures. But that can change, given the right circumstances. One more question, if you'll humor me. Do you think you could turn your weapon on those closest to you? You'll do so much worse by the time I'm done with you. Oh, still rolling in the muck, I see. Gortash knows you are coming. Knows you have the Bone Lord Stone. Do not let him hiss hot air into your worm-weakened brain. He'll find your weaknesses. Stick a knife in the cracks and prize you apart. Unless you get him first. <laughs> Remember, his throat spits lies, but my blade carves the truth. You will read it on your skin soon enough. She's toying with me. What does she want? Try attacking me when my back isn't turned, you bloody coward. <laughs> Don't dare lie to me. I saw you with my own eyes, grinning at me like some bloody imbecile. I'm gonna knock that smirk right off your face. Well, you're not wrong. Feels like my brain's been drawn on the anvil. I need a bloody drink. Go on, clear off. I've seen enough of your face today. What do you want now? Then go down to the bloody shop. I've got work to do. Welcome to the Rivington General. Uh, browse carefully. The weapons are sharp. Hi! 
want a blade, or a bow, or a dagger, or maybe a spear is more your thing. You look like you know how to use a spear. By spear. What'd you say? Huh? Yep, that's me.